Hey there everybody, it's Red X Parasite, and welcome back to Metroid Other M. In the last episode, we did more stuff in Sector 1. That sounds very bland and uninteresting, but that's what we did! We did stuff. That's about it. <laughs> I mean, we fought some war wasps, we killed them, we met Mr. Stalker Man, and now we're on our way to the exam center in Sector 1. So, without further ado, game load now. Oh, running. How excellent is it? I love running and... <gasps> Miss Looks Bad, I am disappointed. I cannot get the missile expansion. I feel so <laughs> abandoned. <laughs> Ooh, ominous. That's the exam center, by the way. Open sesame. Ha! <laughs> it worked. This sure is a peculiar place. Again with the running. Again with the force saving. There's really not much to say about this. It's a tunnel. And oh no, the door's locked. It's an annoying door. It's another annoying door. Oh look, a tunnel. Oh look, a panel. I'm going to kill you, annoying door. I'm going to kill you. Haha, -ha, you're dead. That's right. And now we are treated to lovely images of images. They are full of pixels. And running. And stairs. And <gasps> gasp! The door's already open. Somebody must be here. But who could it be? Who could have gotten in here? Was it... The maid! Oh, wait, it's James. Sorry. Hey, Samus. Hey, James. Hi. Oh, the rest of the gang's Where's here, Lyle? too. Except Looks Lyle. Like he's late. Huh? Hey. The CPU seems to have self-destructed. Well, that sounds bad. The central system is broken into parts, but I think I might be able to restore it and recover some of the data. Hooray! Like the CEO said, there might be some pretty crucial information hidden here. Well, while Maurice here is working his magic, the rest of us should search this building. Am I right? Yes, Got sir. It. More story. Does this view bring back any memories? Yeah. Looks like the training grounds of the Galactic Federation. Ooh, suspicious. So now this we're gonna get into one of I don't really care for this section of the game too much. Um Basically, what we're doing is we're kind of examining this exam center. Haha, <laughs> I see what I did there. And you are stuck in this walking thing. Like, you can't use your gun and you walk really slowly. So, I guess it's a trying to build suspense? But, yeah, just kind of 
boring. Because, really, there's only one way to go. Uh, unless you manage to get yourself completely and utterly lost, then you basically have to go this way. <laughs> like, you go in here and you see stuff everywhere. And you go in this hallway, and the lights flicker. It's not really that impressive. And the game, being ever so nice, will give you a hint to tell you that you're close to getting where you need to be. If you find these two uh, Federation soldiers, then you know you're heading in the right direction. Although, I will repeat what I said before, it's nearly impossible to get lost. But somehow it, it could happen. Who knows? What is that mysterious ticking noise? It's more of a beeping noise, but I'm going to call it ticking. Oh my god! I think it's dead. What is this thing? More importantly, what is that on its chest? Yeah, that. Adam, are you seeing this? Yes. It's a Sabesium. But it's been cybernetically enhanced. Gasp. What is this thing? I don't know. Continue your investigation. God, gosh darn it. Can I, can I seriously just like finish looking at this thing? Great. So you're going to make me come back. Alright. So I managed to recover one piece of data. This bottle ship is under management of the Galactic Federation. In these facilities, life forms from each planet have been raised and researched as possible bioweapons. Site manager and development director, Dr. Madeline Bergman. Adam, was the Galactic Federation experimenting with bioweapons? Yes. Use of bioweapons is strictly prohibited. Thank you, Captain Obvious. What's happened here is illegal. Who is Madeline Bergman? Must be the person in charge here. Is that all you've got? It really isn't much I didn't to go need off to press of. Adam about it any further. I knew his mind. Not only was he a strong opponent of bioweapons, he was against the use of living things for unnecessary reasons, period. Life. No matter what form it takes as it's born into this awesome game's cool getting philosophical universe, on us. Should not be tampered with. That was Adam's philosophy. In bringing the infant Metroid back, I did something that I know would have gone against his convictions. And, though I might have been left alone, it was a clear and blatant violation of protocol. I wondered what Adam thought of me. Out of nowhere, I suddenly found myself concerned with his opinion again. I've almost gotten it completely restored. But, I'll bet they've protected this thing with a seriously sophisticated security system. If I can't get past it, James, that'll be where you come in. Leave it to me. Shouldn't be a problem to hack into this thing. I mean, it might tell us what exactly was going on here. Looks like this might take some time now. Madeline might still be somewhere in this building. Keep scouting for more intel. Let's go. Great, so now we get to do this again. Hooray. I may end up like speeding this part up because there's really not much to say about it.
Where'd it go? What was that? Can I please lock onto one of these things? Come on. Thank you. Oh no! Space pirates! Well, technically, there's Zabesians, but Zabesians are space pirates. Space pirates are. Space pirates are Zabesians. So, but technically. Oh, come on. That's it. Jump on your head once. I jump on your head twice, and you are dead. That's the easiest way to kill these things. Kind of just jump on their head once. Jump on their head twice. And kill. The only thing that you can mess up is everything. And now they're going to go and disappear into these corridor thingies. They're still ridiculously easy to kill as long as you don't screw it up. Like that. Come back here. And with that, the last one is taken down. Well, that was interesting. A lot more interesting than the walking around we've been doing. They actually have something to talk about. Once I get back, I should uh, tell the guys about this. How I fought off all these space pirates. There must have been like 9,000... 27 of them or something. I would highly recommend saving here even though the game does not force you to. But it's just a suggestion. And now we're back here. Wait, where is everybody? What was that? Oh no, the window! Well, that doesn't look friendly. I better go. Running, 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 slow mo. Wow, that guy is sneaky. Um, this doesn't look like fun. It looks really poliolis. This really does not look like fun. And Rios. This is just like a party of monsters, isn't it? Uh oh. He's gonna try to stab me with his tail. So what you have to do is you have to lock onto his tail. And hit it with a missile. It's as simple as that, but it can get a lot more complex than that. Ah. Well, that was close. Oh, come on, I totally hit that. Come on, I can do this. If I only get hit once, I'd be I feel accomplished myself. I can do it. Just gotta concentrate. And come on. And. Ha ha! Success! So, Anthony saved me because he used his plasma beam.
and now the thing's going to run and smash through a sky. Oh, there's a wall there. And it looks like the rest okay, of the Galactic princess? Federation is cleaning up. I wanted to give you some cover early. Punch. But this thing takes forever to charge. I'll save the next shot for you. Not that you'll need it. Hey! Come over here! Oh no! What's up? Lyle's down. It looks like a pile oh, of rats. Oh no! What's gotta happen to a guy to make him look like that? Let's look at it. Oh, they're blocking it. Jerks. Okay, this took me forever to find. It's that green pile of blood. Right there. It's green on green, which makes it incredibly difficult to find. Especially when you don't know what to look for. And... Hey, wait a minute. That's Mr. Stalker Man. What happened? Is he like, oh my god, he got eaten by himself. That monster from earlier infiltrated Sector 3. Samus, follow it. Haha, okay. So now we are going to head to the left, since we have nowhere else to, to go. And we're going to head in the direction that the monster went. Through this conveniently revealed door. And oh, that looks like a really long jump! Whee! Crash. Well, that doesn't look pretty. Looks like that beast came through here. Darn it, he went up. It was clear that the Galactic Federation was developing bioweapons on the bottle ship. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Jeez. I wonder if Adam came here knowing that. Regardless, I knew I had to talk to the person in charge. Madeline Bergman. Of course, she would have to be alive in order for me to do that. Thank you, Captain Obvious. And boom goes the exam center. Somebody blew up the exam center. Samus, start by searching areas you can access with your current equipment. We'll determine weapon and equipment authorization after we get a better understanding of the situation. Alright, so welcome to sector 3. It's the heat lava sector. Whatever you want to call it. Ow. It's pretty hot. Not gonna lie. <sighs> nice piece of walk on. Oh my god! What was that thing? It looked like a giant lava fish. Of giantness. I don't know what that was. We'll have to find out some other time. But all I want to do right now is save. And end the episode off here. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Red X Parasite. Signing. Out. Process.